Hello, and it is mushroom season. Uh, love mushroom season. It's my favorite time of year. Well, autumn is my favorite time of year anyway. So uh, if you've just joined us, welcome to the Live Wild vlog. Um, took a little break for a while, but I'm back. And uh, I wanna show you some mushrooms that I got today. It took me 20 minutes in the woods, um, in my local woods, and I found a bunch of mushrooms. So I'm gonna show you what they are. Okay. This, let me find a good one for you. This, top of it doesn't look great, the bottom is beautiful. This is called a saffron milk cap. And here's another one. And the bottom's gorgeous again. Here's one that's kind of looks more like it should in that it has a little dip in it. And again, the top, these are kind of, they've been what rained on and washed out a little bit, uh, but they're still good. And uh, so they're really orange. They're kind of peachy on the top and they're really orange in the bottom, but they can be mistaken for other mushrooms, um, so you really kind of have to do your own research. There's some good mushroom apps out there, but even with the mushroom apps, I tend to use the app to identify, but then like cross check everything online before I cook it and eat it because I've made a mistake before where, um, yeah, I've just poisoned myself literally. So uh, this is interesting though. I've, I've had these before and they're really, really good, but there are ones that are kind of lookalikes. So please obviously do your own research, don't take it from me. Um, that's another little sample of a saffron milk cap. And they've got a little hollow stalk. Um, and also one of their telltale signs is that they bruise green. So you can kind of see, there's like a green tinge in between the gills, they bruise green. So that's one. You're gonna find another one. These are like, these are the biggest ones that, hang on. There's some really cool mushrooms down here. This is a whole bag of them of all different types so one mushroom that i really love and i discovered last year is called a deceiver mushroom now that's like the cap is it flattened out so that's really kind of at the end of its life and that's the underneath of it deceiver mushrooms are called deceivers because they kind of look like a lot of different mushrooms that's the thing and sometimes they kind of come up like this golden color sometimes they come up almost like a peachy salmon color and sometimes they come up kind of brown or rust color so it's hard to distinguish like what they are um so with the, the deceiver let's see if i can find a really good example in here it's a pretty good one even though it's kind of broken because he was in with the others um with the deceiver the stalk is really fibrous so you you cut up before cooking you cut off the stalk and just eat the caps um and like a lot of mushroom hunters they just don't really rate them. I think they're a really tasty mushroom. I really like them. So um, I've had them a couple of times. Uh, yeah, so deceivers. There you go. Now, there's another mushroom. I haven't tried this mushroom yet, actually, but I know that it is edible. And it's actually, um, it's kind of a delicacy in Asian cuisine. Let me just find, a, I found so many of them. So hang on, let me just find, pull them all out. <laughs> they're not the most attractive looking mushroom they, they will find them on on trees um they're called oh, that's a gross one <laughs> find a better one sorry they're called jelly ears because they kind of if you look in they kind of look like an ear on the inside i'm trying to get it to the light they look kind of look like an ear they're kind of fleshy almost like like a pig's ear type thing. So they're called jelly ears. You find them mostly on um, mostly on elder elder flower trees. Actually, elder trees they like to grow there. They kind of take over the tree. Um, there's a bunch of them. So I haven't actually cooked them up and eaten them yet. But I think in Asian cuisine, what they like to do is dry them out. Um, so I'm going to put them in the dehydrator, dry them out, and then they uh, use them in like soups, like wonton soups, or in ramens and stuff like that. They just put them on the top. When, when they rehydrate them. So that's going to be, I'm going to try that I think this week because I haven't tried it before. This is another one that I found today. I found this last year, but I didn't pick it. But I found it again today in, in nice quantities. This is called, what's it called again? It is called... Coral. Sorry, I had to think. This is called a coral mushroom because it kind of looks like the coral reef, like coral, obviously, because they're all named after what they look like. Um, and again, it's not really rated because apparently, like, it's so tiny, it's not worth your the effort of, like, cleaning it and picking it and cooking it. 
Um, but I'm going to give it a shot today and I'll find out what it tastes like. So that's my mushroom haul. There's a massive bag of them. I'm very, very pleased with myself. So the saffron mushrooms, I'm probably, the saffron milk cap, I'm probably going to cook them up straight away. They're really nice mushroom. I've had them before. Deceivers, I'm going to cook them up straight away as well. Take the stems off and just have the caps because they're really, really nice. And then all these jelly mushrooms, I'm going to dehydrate. I'm going to clean them all and dehydrate them and um, use them at some point. So there you go. That's my mushroom haul today. Hope you enjoyed it and obviously please do your own research um there's a couple of decent mushroom apps out there um where you can photograph the mushroom and it goes into a database and it gives you a couple of options of what it might be so that's why i would always say go and cross check on the internet or get some books or get you know or go with somebody who's knowledgeable about mushrooms because i've poisoned myself before and it has been horrendous i'm just saying um but enjoy